Good morning guys, welcome to another video here on my YouTube channel. In this video, I will explain you how to prepare for your VFR flight. So stay tuned and see you in a minute. So how to prepare for your visual flight? So, first of all, it starts already a day before your flight or hours before your flight. I was preparing my flights already in advance. So, the night before the flight, I was sitting at home checking already the weather. So, this is already point number one. If you're flying under visual flight rules and IFR, of course, every flight, you have to check the weather. If you are within the limits, if there are dangerous clouds like CBs or if there are some storms or mountain waves. So all the time, check your weather already in advance. If you check the weather properly, then you cannot encounter surprises and surprises are always bad for you guys. So now you have to plan a route. So how to plan a route according to your slot. So if you are going two hours and the weather looks fine in your departure aerodrome and your arrival aerodrome, then you can start to plan a route. Let's use in my case from a flight from Yeda to Sabadei with a touch and go in Girona. So I check the weather, everything is fine. So visual flying means that you are flying according to map. So you have to check the map and look outside to check for visual points. The so-called visual points or visual reference point have to be clearly defined. So it makes no sense if you are taking a field because field or farms, there are a lot. So take big roundabouts, churches or castles use rivers or lakes. These are the best reference points because you can even see it from a bigger distance. So if you find your route and you have all your points, you can start to calculate the flight time. If you are within the limits, you've done a great job. So as well, you have to think like two, three steps forward. In case something happened on your destination aerodrome, you need an alternate aerodrome. In Europe, you have a lot of aerodromes, so you have a bigger option to choose your alternate aerodrome. Another very important thing is write all possible frequencies down what you can encounter on your flight. This will decrease your workload during the flight. As you see here in my knee board, I have on the very first page all possible frequencies written down in a table. So of course it starts with Yeda and uh, Barcelona approach. But if you are coming to Girona, you have an ATIS frequency. So to decrease your workload, write it already down in advance and you don't have to search the frequencies on the chart. Second of all, choosing the right altitude. Choosing the right altitude, you can do it with the chart. The chart gives you for each sector the minimum safe altitude and the maximum VFR altitude. So choose an altitude what is very convenient for you. As well, prepare the approach shots for each possible airport for any case, for any position of your flight. In my kneeboard, as you see, I have every possible airport here, everything in order. So all the time when I'm flying, I have all the charts with me. So if I have to divert to another airfield, I just open my kneeboard and there are a lot of important informations. Coming back to my kneeboard, put as well all visual signs what you have learned in ELO in your kneeboard. So if the communication fails and you have to memorize all the visual signs, so then you can just open your kneeboard and you have everything written down. As well, what I'm doing, my very first page, I'm writing my briefing for myself. So it started with the off-block time, the takeoff time, the landing time and the on-block time. And as well in the VFR, you have to count your total landings. As well, I have a different column with the ATIS informations or clearances. So if you need them, you can just take a look on the kneeboard and you have your all the information. Another very important thing is 
you have to rest well before the flight. Our academy says minimum eight hours. So don't go to the party a day before, prepare your flight, watch a movie and go to sleep. You have to be well rested that your brain works properly during the flight and you are concentrated. So now the day of flying comes closer. So first of all, you have to send a flight plan. So after you send the flight plan and you got the confirmation that your flight is approved, then you can start with your outside check. What are we doing in the outside check? I will explain you in another video. So after the outside check, you can finally take off and enjoy the flight. So I hope you liked the video. I hope I could help you somehow or I could give you already some information what you can expect from your VFR training. So I hope you liked the video. If you didn't subscribe, subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video on the next Wednesday. So see you. You got the perfect imperfections I know this girl that picks the blessing I feel the need to tell the whole world Cause I know some girls who miss the message I wish to keep it going just us I wish these nosy hoes would just touch I got dreams to share just with you You and I got that golden touch You got like the perfect flaws You look like you deserve it all I can see